The president wants to uh, transform the U.S. in terms of the way that the infrastructure works. One of the key planks in that yes. is air traffic control. Now, he, he's kind of said, we need to reform this. It's now your job to figure out exactly how that's going to work, I guess, in some ways. I, how, how do you make it work? How's it actually going to work from an operational point of view? When are we going to start seeing benefits from that? Who's going to fund it? Who's going who's to be involved with it? Are you going to let me answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. Wait, this is a very serious issue, and so yeah. I want to address it. Uh, uh, you know, with great care. Uh, for anyone who has experienced delays and congestions, they know why the president has made this historic decision to separate out air traffic control from uh, the government. Right now, the FAA is uh, two parts. It has an air traffic control part and it has a regulatory safety part. In 60 other countries throughout the world, the operating unit is separated from the regulatory safety aspect. And secondly, as part of the government, uh, the air traffic control system is um, disadvantaged in being able to access the most up-to-date technology. Now, let me uh, assure everyone, the American airspace is the safest in the world. But to maintain its competitiveness and its efficiency, uh, because we're going to have a billion passengers in the next, uh, by 2020, and we're going to have uh, to integrate new unmanned uh, flying vehicles like drones. So the airspace is increasingly congested, and we are experiencing delays and congestions right now. And if we do not do something now to prepare the system yep. to be able to take advantage of the new technology and make sure that the air traffic controllers who are working so hard to make sure that our system is safe get the best equipment that they can. Uh, we need to do that.